Luke, um, addict. I actually didn't know what I want to say here today. You know, it's. I just never had this much time before. You know, ninety days. Um. So here it goes. It's taken me ten years to get ninety days clean, and I'm starting step four, which is always the one that does me in. A fearless moral inventory. Now, I've been called a lot of things in my life, but fearless is not one of them. You know, I, I was always a scared little kid, and I, I thought I'd get braver when I got older, but I didn't. I just got scared of anything. You know, my mom committed suicide when I was six years old, and my siblings and I went to live with my aunt. Uh, I know, you know, I, I was just, I was just a little kid. I didn't really understand death yet. So yeah, I guess I was just expecting her to come back. And every night, I, I stare out of my window and sit in bed as the cars came around the corner, just hoping one would stop and she would step out. And every time I saw those headlights, I, I stood up in bed and stared out of my window. But they just keep driving. Those hell I see were the worst. Red eyes in the dark, just taking, just taking hope with them. And mom, she never came back, of course. But other things from when I was young, they, they came back. And, and I think that's why I started using in the first place. You know, to keep those things away. And I, I could claim, you know for a week or months or so, but I just always feel like they're sneaking back up on me again. So I, I use. My family, they're not gonna believe this. They never really did, ne never really believed me at anything, but I don't blame them. You know, I fucked them over so many times, lied, stole, come on, you know what I mean. Um, I guess I'll never know what it feels like for them to be done like that. I hope I never know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I wanna I wanna check my caseworker page and everyone in this recovering house, and I wanna. Thank my special friend who's always had had back on me. Thank you. Any attic loan is a bad company.